Good morning, everyone. Amy Valdivia here with Joe Morgan, and uh, we're having our morning morning discussion. And what pops up? A divorce must be final, which is the topic of today. When you're getting a home loan and you are going through a divorce, understand that if there is a legal separation agreement recorded, we're going to ask you for that. If maybe you've already filed for divorce but it's not finalized, we cannot close the loan until it is final, until we have the stamp. The stamp. <laughs> the stamp. The final stamp. <laughs> the final stamp, meaning that you know it's been recorded, the, the, the courts have stamped it, the judge has signed it, it is done, it's a done deal. That is when we can close. Now, if you're maybe just having some issues in your marriage um, and you your spouse wants to buy another home he or she can absolutely do that and take prop take title as a married soul and separate um, owner as long as you know the qualification is done um, but understand that if there's an actual divorce in process that's been filed we need the final stamp <laughs> we need the final stamp that's his great contribution to this video <laughs> what are we looking at when we're reading divorce papers we want to know about kids child support, alimony, um, retirement benefits, or retirement benefits taken away, or legacy debt. We want to know if one of the spouses will actually end up acquiring some debt after the fact, um, be responsible for some debt, or maybe just maybe, you know, 10 years from now, there's a 401k loan that's been outstanding. Somehow, right. some way, it's been renegotiated and payment doesn't happen for you know five or 10 years. And lo and behold, it's your spouse's debt that has to uh, that he, he or she has to pay. Or maybe it's, it's the borrower's debt that he or she has to pay. Whatever it is, we need to know what the final terms are, especially when it comes to income. So it's not one of those things where you can just say, oh, you know what, I'm getting alimony and, and just last month we started, he started giving me some money. Yeah, that doesn't work. Alimony and child support, we need to see that it's been received for 12 months and or finalized in divorce papers. And then we're gonna look at your bank statements and provide, you're gonna show proof that the deposits were made, things like that. So um, it's very black and white because it's all on paper. Um, and we need to see that prior to closing. Would, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes, that you can qualify with alimony and child support only, as long as you can prove that you document that you've had it for 12 months, and that it's gonna be over past three years to continuance. Three years in the future continuance. And what do we need? Stamp. It's gotta be the final stamp on that divorce document. Okay, a divorce must be final to close your home loan. I'm Amy Valdivia at a Valdivia at AFNCorp.com or 626-485-4673 or 909-952-9549 or jmorgan at AFNCorp.com. If you have questions or a situation that you want to talk about or need some guidance, don't hesitate to call. Thanks. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Bye.